In this video, I will show you how to do text animation in Pixel Composer. So in Pixel Composer, there is a node that called Draw Text, which as the name suggests, you can type in the text you want, and it will just render it on the surface. Let's change font. But right now, every character is in the same surface. So you cannot do a per character animation here. If you want to separate this into a character, you can do that by separating the character before sending it to this draw text. So let's create a text node. This text node will just contain a text that we want. Then we want to split it into each character. So we're going to send it to a split text. Now we want to split each character, right? Right now it says the delimiter or the character that we use to split text at a single space. If we remove it, what it does here is just going to separate each character into a member in, the ar in an array. Now if you send this text array into the text input, we will now have a multiple output, one for each character. So if you want to animate this, we can send the surface array into the repeat node. Normally this repeat node will repeat the same surface multiple times. But in this case, because we send in array data, it will instead spread out each member in the array. Now if we increase the amount to the amount of character we have, it will try to repeat all the character. The problem here is that each of the character have the same spacing, which is 16 pixels. But if this image have different width, right? This one have a really small width, only like 6 pixels. But this one have 15 pixels. Let's cause this weird spacing. If we go to the stack option, and then select X and then remove this to zero. We will now put it next to each other. There are also a property called animator. Inside this animator, you can manipulate each of these characters, each of these image by using different property. Like for example, if we go to the animator position and then set position to negative four, you will see that this one character move up by four pixels. It is this character because we set to the midpoint to 0 0.5. If we try to adjust the midpoint, you will see we already have this animation. And if we increase this range, the animation effect more character. You can change the type of fall off. Right now the fall off is linear. So you can imagine this triangle, right, being formed under the midpoint. And you can also animate other property as well. Right now we only animate the position. You can make it rotate. Or you can also change the scale. And of course, if we want to animate this, we simply can just go to toggle animation and then Move to the last frame, and now you can just play it. We will have our text animation. And that's it for this video. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.